Hey, this is M again. This is M. This is M, Super Coach, CEO of the Soul Focus Group. And uh, in order for you to be able to take fear on in this new era of your life, because whether you know it or not, we're in a new era. And when a new era comes into being, no one sends out a notice. You have to feel it within yourself, feel it within the atmosphere that things have changed and they will continue to change. And right now there's so much room for creating what we desire to be right now. But right now more than ever, we are more distracted from our creation power than ever before. And while we are distracted from our creation power, that means we will continue to recreate what we've been creating that we didn't want in the first place. We will continue to create more of it. There's a there's a kind of fear in our life that is very natural. And I, I have a hard time calling it fear. I, I put it in the category of instincts because our instincts turn on when our lives are being threatened, for real. And that instinct comes on and it, it does something to us. Sometimes it makes us superhuman. That instinct does, that animalistic instinct. But there's something else that we're suffering from. Uh, when we talk about fear, there's another kind of fear. And that fear, like I told you before, makes up 95 to 98 percent of all the fear that we experience on a daily basis. And just imagine for a second, we walk around in that. We walk around in the belief and perception that other people don't like us, that other people, other people will not accept who we are. Other people will find something wrong with ourselves. So we essentially walk around in images and the feelings that those images generate in our body. Now imagine that for a second. You walk around with that sort of thoughts and imagery in your mind all the time and your body is responding and reacting to that vision which comes with its own set of feelings, negative emotions, and those negative emotions are living in our nervous system. They're creating something in our body. It's not by coincidence that there's so much illness, so much disease, so much cancer, because we are carrying around all that negativity that's being generated by our perception of what's going to happen to us in the future, our perception of the possibility. Now get this, I said this before in other videos, possibility doesn't mean that it's actually happened yet. It means it's potential to happen, but it's not the only thing that's potential to happen. And we have a say-so in what happens, what can potentially happen. By that scale can be tilted by simply pouring more energy into what we desire by generating a new image that we see for ourselves, by us seeing something different for ourselves, and then us pouring our power into that new image we see of ourselves, and we do it on a daily basis until we create a habit, and we have a new habit of creating what we want. So instead of us walking around in fear, we walk around in like. We walk around in love. Because when like is a perception of a possibility that we can't wait to engage. So we don't have perceptions, not don't, but most of us walk around with perceptions that we don't like, that we don't want to experience, but yet that's what we pour our energy into on a daily basis. Think about that, y'all. So much of our life could be different. So much of what we experience can be totally different by simply just taking charge of our mind and reprogramming our brain. We have not even begun to use our brain to the full of extent that, is, that we are capable of using it because we have habits that keep us distracted from being able to do for ourselves what we can do and really realizing the full extent of our power. And once again, every time you hear me say the word power, immediately think energy. Power, energy, power, energy, power, energy. And then begin to start asking yourself, what am I putting my power into? What am I putting my power into? There's nothing in your life that is not running off of your power. Everything in your life is being powered by you. Hmm. Sit on that for a minute. Everything in your life, the drama, the chaoticness, or the love, the peace, and the joy, is all being powered by your energy. You gave energy to it, 
and that's what brought it into your life. You gave energy to it. That's what attracted it into your life. Whatever you are giving your energy to is what you are giving your power to. You have to start intentionally directing your power into things that you want to experience. And sometimes we have, we have been so convinced that we don't deserve to have it the best in life. Here's what I want to say. Let me say this because I'm glad this came up. I want you to start pouring your energy into the reality that you have to want it, everybody to have it good. Not just you, not just certain people, but everybody. And the idea of us believing that only certain people deserve to have it good is a trap. It's a trap that keeps us depositing energy into what we don't want. And we need to pour that energy into what we want, only what we want. And so you can't just pour the energy into what you want for yourself. You also have to pour the energy into what you want, uh, into what other people want for themselves as well that will make them happy. So we have to want everybody to have it good because it works to create a world where everybody can have it good. Listen, there's no shortage of us having things good. The problem is we keep recreating what we've been socialized or programmed to see in our mind. The possibilities we see are people dying, the possibilities we see are people killing one another, the possibility we see people betraying one another, more killing, more mass shootings. That is being, all that is being generated by the fact that we collectively keep imagining that the only things possible are the things that we don't want not realizing that we are creating this ourselves by simply giving our energy to it. Tomorrow, if we all decided as a collective to give our energy to heaven, to give our energy to beauty, to give our energy to love, to give our energy to the things that delight us, guess what? Our world would begin to shift into exactly that. But we've been socialized and we have habits and these habits operate on autopilot. That's what remember I said in our last video, that a habit was a choice or a collective group of choices that we've already made that we put on autopilot so that we don't have to think about it. So we wake up in the morning to brush our teeth, wake up in the morning to do A, B, and C. The habit kicks on because we've already made the choice, we've already made the decision. So it's running our life without us having to think about it. Well, a lot of us have fear on autopilot. A lot of us have made fear a habit. So we show up as, our, as an imposter. We show up as someone that we're not because we've made fear a habit. We have to interrupt the habit. We have to change the habit. And then start creating, as I said before, and I keep repeating some of this stuff because in order for it to get past the firewall of your subconscious programming that has been built around fear, some of you are listening to this and filtering it through fear. You're filtering it through the perception that, nah, the things that I really want to have happen can't happen. And you can come up with a million reasons why it can't happen because you've trained your brain to focus on the things that you don't want rather than training your brain to focus on the things that you do want. It is possible for you to train your brain to see everything working in your favor. And I know a lot of people that I've worked with throughout the years that have really bought into that belief system, have seen the benefits of the reality that everything is working in your favor. And if you train your brain to believe it, you create that as a habit in your neural pathways, your brain then begins to go look out into the world to find reasons why things are working in your favor. Even when it seems like things aren't working in your favor, your brain finds a way to repurpose it so that it does. We have that power. Once again, fear, the fear I'm talking about is a perception of ourselves losing before we've even gotten into the game. And perception is rooted in the law of perception, which is what you see is what you get. Are you ready to see something different? Are you ready to get something different? I'm M. Supercoat, CEO of the Soul Focus Group, and I love you. Peace.